Sweet. I saw this in the picture. That's pretty cool. Yep. So I made that. I can keep that. So just for the future, we'll, if we ever have any more, I got something to go by. There's 16 people online who need the same thing done. All right. We're good. And I told him, I was like, I don't want to give anybody's information out. I was like, but I'll ask him to see, you know. Yep. But if you can feel that, so I've got a good tight thread on it. Okay. Yeah, it's got 180 foot pound is, is what they say online, but I don't, you know, it is what it is. I won't know if it lines up until I get it in the well, motor, you know well, what I mean? This right here is going to be fine, I can tell you that yeah. right now. Any idea, uh, do you know what style tap thread that was? Was that like some weird? It is. It's a, it they is said a, like M23 by... It, it ain't nothing. You can't get a... You cannot get a... Tap or a die for A die for Okay. They got it made so it's a... You got That's a so messed up. Mm -hmm. That is so messed mm -hmm. up because I saw it online and they were talking about it and I was like, okay, so I went and I mic'd it and it mic'd like 23, but online they said 27 and I'm like, there ain't no way. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to see this. So you had to hard. cut these this, threads with the lathe. That's right. And this is hard, oh. so you wouldn't be able to do it with a die anyway. Wow. They are. So this is basically a template for in the future. Mm -hmm. You can use that and you already have it ready. Yep. Wow. Yep. So I, don't, I wouldn't even... It, it would be a little bit quicker too because I knew everything. I just go about this right. That's here. right. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. I, I you know I made the two videos of this similar, and then people were like, "Hey, you ever gonna put it back together?" I'm like, "I'm just waiting, man. I'm just waiting." And I didn't. Did you heat this up and pop it off? I did. Okay. I actually put it in the press. So what it is, I got like a clamshell style mm -hmm. that goes up under it. Yep. And then press it. Put some. I put like I can't remember how much. To, but it, it wouldn't it ain't just go press out because they no. got they get like a lock tight on there yeah heat it up and it pounds just start peeling off and it just slid right on that really yeah okay because yeah. i saw it online and, and he basically had it set up in a lathe and he was slowly turning it and he just held his cutting torch on it and it was going around and around and around mm -hmm. and around and then they took it off and then he went over and he had a two-finger puller and he pulled it right on off yep. and then another video i think he, he put the crank in the freezer and then he put that in the oven at 450 yep. and then he and then he slid it on that way and i'm but you can't buy these like they don't sell these anymore oh. they only sell them like this huh. and if you want this style you have to buy the whole crankshaft with this on the end of it already and i'm like that's 950 dollars yeah so and short of me sending this thing all the way to like australia or some shit like that mm -hmm. nobody nobody did it that's awesome but uh, in the future, you'll be able to get it done a whole lot quicker. You wouldn't have to wait as long. I'm sorry you had to wait that Yeah, that's that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. What a big difference. So what do you have, some kind of seal right here? Exactly. Um, <clears throat> no, it doesn't ride on that. It rides on this. So it's very common for this Teflon coating to wear away. Mm -hmm. And then they take the crankshaft and they, they machine this down and then they put a, a bushing or a collar over it that is the same outer diameter of the seals. And that is another common problem. But the input shaft dying on them is the most common problem where the service says you're supposed to take the damn shaft out every year and pack it full of grease and mm. stick it back in there. Who in the hell is going to do that? Yeah. Like nobody. They should have like machined dessert fitting on the end of the, the output shaft and then made the inside of the shaft hollow to where you can just pump it. Exactly. I don't see why, you know, the shaft is like three quarters of an inch in diameter. You could drill a little a 16th or an eighth inch hole, smack down the center of it, and then tee it into it. Yep. I just, I don't understand why they didn't do that. But they knew they had problems after their second year, and then they switched over to the threaded style crank. But I'm, I'm learning all this as I go too, so. I got you. But yeah, that's awesome. So if you are interested in getting your crankshaft repaired or fixed or the threads cut on the end of it as you see in the video, the contact information for Greg is in the description below. Now make sure you have your crankshaft out before you start bothering this man because he has a day job and he does this on the side. So his information will be down there. If he is bothered or heckled to the point that he doesn't want his information on there anymore i will take it away but for now his information will be down below he gave me permission to share it his turnaround time will be a couple months he's not a full-time machinist but he did this for mine so if you need that information it is down in the description below
If this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank y'all for watching.